Here's the footage I shot of the wiring of this thing. It took about six hours to wire it up and it's not terribly exciting to watch so I'll try to keep it short and blast through it if I can. I start by running the 110 power here for the controls themselves. This power will also supply the fan and the lights in the oven. Later on I'll drill uh, a hole and run the 220 for that uh, black contactor on the left there. That's an Eaton contactor. It's way overkill for what I'm using it for. But uh, I think down the road I'll end up building a bigger oven and this whole panel uh, will be able to just pick it right up and throw it into a bigger oven. Uh, the little SSRs on the right there, they're 100 amp SSRs. I didn't want to take a chance on anything less just because I've seen videos of these things frying and uh, I thought uh, the bigger the better. I think if I was going to try this again I would definitely try to find a box with a door where you wire the panel onto the door. Uh, this was a bit of a challenge at times to wire but I mean electrical boxes are stupid expensive and I paid eight bucks for this box so I was gonna make it work. Well, most of the wire I'm using here is 16 at, there's some 18 going to those little lights there they don't take nothing uh, and uh, I'll be prepared to use a buttload of those spade connectors. Uh, here I'm trying to figure out why the B side of this timer is closed when you start it up and not the A side. Uh, it's probably something I would have known if I would looked at the diagram before I got into it but hey who does that? I should probably mention that I want the elements to come on as soon as the timer fires up and as it runs down it will shut the PIDs off and actuate the alarm. Uh, here I am again with the meter. The switch I'm going to play with is the alarm on off switch and um, I'm just trying to figure out which pins I'm using on the back here. There's four to choose from so I just want to make sure. It's a little tight on the bottom there. It was probably something I should have figured out before I put the switch in, but you know, whatever. You plan things all you want. It's always going to be something. But uh didn't take long. I had to figure it out. Boom. That was it. Good times. Okay, so you may or may not have noticed the temperature controller I have in the lower right hand corner. That's a safety feature. Um, I have two SSRs on only one heat sink. So I grabbed a chunk of aluminum out of the shop. I came up with this rig and that allowed me to drill a hole in the middle and plant the thermocoupler from that temperature controller just uh, so I could monitor the temperatures. You know, uh, uh, if they get a little bit warm, I want to know about it and I can that temperature controller can actuate a fan if I have to but uh, I want to see what the temperatures like before I get crazy here um, it's just sort of a backup plan so this is a shot of where I'm at now uh, probably better than halfway uh, but that's it for now uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section and like and subscribe and all that and uh, I'll leave you with this and we'll see you next time